All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to talk about a beautiful integral that was recommended to me by a subscriber, namely the integral from zero to infinity of one over x squared plus one squared dx. Now I know you could do this integral with trig substitution, but the way I present now is much more elegant. And not only that, you can also use it to calculate the integral from zero to infinity of x to the n plus one times x squared plus one dx with surprisingly the same answer. But here we just focus on this integral. So here's the trick. Let's calculate the i to be the integral from zero to infinity of one over x squared plus one squared dx. And let's use a clever substitution. Namely, let u be one over x, then du it's minus one over x squared dx. So dx becomes minus x squared du. But remember, x is one over u. So it is minus one over u squared du. And moreover, what happens if you do u of zero plus here? That's one over zero plus, which is infinity. And u of infinity it's one over infinity, which is zero. So this gets reversed. And in particular, the integral becomes the integral from infinity to zero of one over, so x becomes one over u. So one over u squared plus one squared times dx, which is minus one over u squared du. And then there are a bunch of simplifications. So this minus here cancels out with this wrong order. And what you get is the following. <laughs> what you get is the integral from zero to infinity of one over, let's see, one plus u squared over u squared squared times one over u squared du. Now there's a lot of squaring. And then we get zero integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus u squared squared. And then this becomes u to the fourth over u squared du, which kind of cancels out to become u squared. And last but not least, what we get. So remember, i was the integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus x squared, squared dx. But now with the u sub x equals u, for instance, this just becomes the integral from zero to infinity, u squared becomes x squared. And then one plus x squared, squared dx. Now notice how similar they become. In fact, let's just add both of them. So what, what happens when you do i plus i? Well, on the one hand, it is 2i, which becomes 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x squared squared dx. On the other hand, adding both two things up, we get integral from 0 to infinity, 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared squared dx. Now, the beautiful thing is one of those nasty factors cancels out and you're left with the integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus x squared dx. And this we can just calculate with tangents, arctangents, because this becomes arctangent of infinity minus arctangent of zero, which just becomes pi over two minus zero, which is pi over two. So what do we get? Two times the integral we want is pi over two. So the integral that we want integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus x squared squared dx becomes one half of pi over two, which is pi over four. And then we're done and we can stay home happy. All right, I hope you like this. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.